Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to a special edition of Wine and Spirits. Um, I thought I would do a little wine advent calendar that I got from Total Wine. <laughs> Hello! Um, it's 24 days of wine. I don't know what's in it. So obviously I've already done the first eight days. I'll kind of go through the the um, wines that I did for that. Let me put this on. <gasps> Sorry, it's heavy. Um, so with that being said, you can get it at Total Wine. All of these wines you can actually get at Total Wine. And this advent calendar was actually $79.99. But I, because I'm a Grand Reserve member, only played $39.99. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You're probably like, oh my gosh, that's a lot to be paying for wine. But it's not just one bottle. It is actually 24 bottles that you get to sample. So I like it. So with that being said, I'll go through the first eight days that I did first. Um, the first one was the Kiwi Cuvée Pinot Grigio. Um, that one was light. It was crisp. It had like a little bit of like a apple peach flavor to it and it was semi-dry. Um, I'm gonna rate that one a two and a half um, just because I'm not a huge semi-dry, I'm not a huge white wine drinker in general, but this one just had a very, um, not very good aftertaste on it. So that wouldn't be something that I would buy again, but you know, there's a lot of Pinot Grigio drinkers out there that may like it. Um, that just wasn't my favorite. Um, the second one, the second day, was Magic Box Red Blend. Um, oh, and going back to the Kiwi Cuvée for the Pinot Grigio, that's $10.99 for that bottle. Now, the second one, Magic Box Red Blend, was rich and bold. Um, it had like a kind of like a fruity blackberry taste to it, like a, a oaky um, plum vanilla a lot of flavors that I was tasting in, in the initial and the finish of it, but it was a semi-dry. So for you red wine drinkers, I know some of you don't like red blends, <laughs> um, but this one you would actually like, Megan. Um, and I rate this one a five. Yes, I would buy again. Um, it was just really kind of the ones that are, it's good for sipping, good for dinner, good for parties, that type of wine. Now, number three that I did was the Kiwi Cuvée Sauvignon Blanc, and that one um, was actually pretty good. It was tart, it was crisp, um, had a lot of uh, citrus, citrusy fruits, I would say, with a little bit of kiwi, and I kind of like that flavoring. Um, it's semi-sweet though, um, not overbearing, so not to the point where you couldn't have like more than one glass if you don't like sweet wines. But I rated that one a four. I would definitely buy it again. That one's $10.99. And the, the red blend is $9.99 if I didn't mention that. Um, but it was really good. Um, the fourth one is the Dimati red blend. And that one's bold, medium bodied, um, berries, like a, a cherry or a plum finish. Um, it was semi-dry. And normally I like red blends, like I don't mind them. Um, but this one, I'm gonna rate a three and a half. It wasn't the greatest, but it wasn't horrible. So yes, I would probably buy it again. Um, moving on to number five. And that one was a Grand Sud Chardonnay. Now, if I didn't mention um, the Demati red blend was $11.99. This Grand Sud Chardonnay is $10.99. Um, it's fruity and buttery, so not bad. It has kind of like tropical fruits, like a little bit of pineapple flavors, and it's semi-dry, but this one just didn't catch me. I, I didn't like it. I, I rate that one a two. Um, I probably wouldn't buy it again, just because I'm not a huge Chardonnay fan. Um, the only Chardonnays that I've liked so far was one that we had at um, Cake Bread. Um, yeah, cake bread winery when I was in Napa Valley. And then the second one shard that I've ever liked was that Martha's shard from 19 Crimes. So those are the only two that I like. So whenever I drink a Chardonnay, I base it off of those two that I've had. And this one was just not doing it for me. It tasted like old newspaper. It was gross. Um, number six is gonna be the Chemin de Soblos. If I'm saying that wrong, go ahead and correct me. Rosé, that's $11.99. 
Um, that one was light and crisp. I kind of liked it um, uh, with the, like a light berries flavor. I'm not a huge rosé person just because I get headaches if I drink too much of it. Um, but that one was semi-sweet. Tastes really good chilled, especially. Um, I'm going to rate it a three, though, just because I'm not, a like I said, a huge rosé person. And I probably wouldn't buy it again unless, you know, it's a special occasion um, or if someone offered it to me. Um, number seven, Magic Box Pinot Grigio. This one's $10.99. Um, it was fresh and light. Um, it kind of had like that fresh fruity finish. I don't know how to describe it. It wasn't bad, but it was very, very dry. And I love dry red wines, but dry whites just don't do it for me. So that's another, this is another Pinot Grigio that wasn't my favorite. And I'm going to rate this one actually a one. I did not like it at all. It was actually so bad. I didn't finish it. I dumped it out. And you know me, I don't like wasting wine, but this, I couldn't do it. I couldn't even choke it down. So that would be definitely one that I would not buy again. Um, and then eight, the one that I had yesterday was very good. Um, it was a Kiwi Cuvée, their Pinot Noir. And that is $10.99. Um, if I didn't say the Pinot Grigio from Magic Box is $10.99 as well. But this Pinot Noir that I had yesterday, um, it, again, light and fresh, because that's pretty much what I look for when I'm, I'm picking out my wines. Um, fresh berries, cherry, um, a little hint of a spice. I don't know if it's spice or if it's more oaky. I don't know. It was good, whatever it was. Um, that one's... I'm teetering between a semi-dry slash sweet. Um, it's good at room temperature. I did chill a little bit of it, so it's good um, if you want to chill it too. I know that's a faux pas to chill red wines, but some red wines taste better when they're cold. Um, and this one I loved, so I'm going to rate that one a five, and probably, yes, I would buy it again. Now, the, the version I had for the little sample was a 2021 version. The one that's on Total Wines website is 2020. So I don't know how that one tastes, and I'm kind of hesitant to buy anything that was bottled in 2020 for obvious reasons. So um, if you can find the 2021 version, that's the version that I recommend. So now we're bringing us up to number nine. Woo! And that's going to be Magic Box Chardonnay. And that one is a 2021 as well. So let's see how it tastes. I didn't pour it out yet. I don't know if you guys saw my glass. I'm always up to no good. <laughs> my Harry Potter reference. So let me see. Let's see how this smells and tastes. Actually, that one's not bad. It's juicy, fruity, um, tastes a little bit citrusy, I would say. I'm trying to see what I can smell with my nose. It smells good. It tastes good. Like I said, I'm not a huge Chardonnay fan, so I'm surprised at this. And I guess I have to put in there that the number five Chardonnay, the Grand Sud, I did not chill, so that could be a reason why that one didn't taste as well. The other, all the other whites I chilled and that was the only one I didn't kind of last minute deciding to drink it. But this one's chilled and it tastes really good. So this one, um, Magic Box Chardonnay, this is $11.99. Again, you can get it um, at Total Wine. And I'm going to rate this one. This is kind of, ooh, this is hard because this, to me, it tastes semi-sweet, but like I said, I'm a red wine drinker, so pretty much all the whites taste sweet to me. Um, so I'll go, again, half and half, semi-dry slash sweet. It all depends on the palate, and you guys tr try it out. Let me know what you think. Um, but I'm going to rate this actually a four. This is a white that I would probably get, again, a Chardonnay. Um, but that's going to wrap it up. Um, with our wine advent calendar now that you're all caught up all eight wines including number nine today um, the magic box Chardonnay let me know what you think in the comments if there's anything that you want me to try um, but that's gonna wrap it up for today and I'll see you tomorrow <laughs>
<laughs> when I review number 10 of the Advent calendar line. Bye.